Hey guys, how's it going? Thank you very much for clicking on this video. Today we are taking a look at Charlie Hoffman's golf swing. If you don't know who Charlie Hoffman is, um, I'm not sure where you've been. He's an absolutely incredible professional golfer. He regularly competes to the highest level at the Masters, always seems to do really, really well there. And he is one of the straightest hitters on the PGA Tour, been on the PGA Tour for decades, and he has a pretty great golf swing that we can all learn a lot from. So we have him hitting driver, iron, uh, wedges, front on, down line, three woods, chipping. So let's dive in and take a look. First of all, we're gonna have a look at Charlie's driver swing. So here we have Charlie set up with driver. This is actually from the US Open, super recent swing. And setup position is really good. That posture is pretty much perfect, I would say. Alignment, really good. A few things about his alignment. If you notice actually, his feet are slightly pointed to the right. His shoulders are actually slightly pointed to the left. A little bit interesting there, um, slightly crossing himself up there. Uh, that would probably tell me that he plans to hit a fade on this hole, slightly over the top, starting the ball left, cutting back to the middle. So let's have a look. Let's take this club back. And if we pause it parallel to the ground, great position here. He has the club head outside the hands. Um, the face is relatively open, but not too open. Pretty standard takeaway there, starting to turn the body. If we play it to the top now, he's going to really pivot to the top. And if we pause it at the top, there's a few interesting things to note here. One, if we work our way up from the, from the ground up, I love the lower body movement. Lower body movement is really, really great. Um, he, you know, pivots really well into that right hip. His right hip will be internally rotated, which basically means his knee hasn't turned. So his knee is kind of, knees are still pointing fairly straight, but he's turned into the right hip and that weight will be going through the right glute. Fairly flat shoulder plane here, quite interesting. The shoulder plane looks a bit flatter than the hip plane. A few other things to note. Uh, a lot of wrist hinge, a little bit of cupping in the left wrist. And um, Charlie, again, has a slightly strong left-hand grip, which we've been noticing a ton recently in a lot of the swings we've been looking at. And we'll be able to see this a little bit more in one of the few, uh, swings we're going to have a look at in a second. Also, hands and arms fairly low-ish, kind of in line with the shoulder plane. And club is a bit across the line. Now, if we start to play this down, we're going to note that he's going to flatten out, shallow and flatten out the shaft quite a lot. And he holds onto a lot of wrist hinge, a lot of lag coming through there as he rotates hard. And if we pause it parallel to the ground, a few interesting things to note here, a few really good things. A few really good things. He's rotated really hard and his posture is excellent. His posture is really good. Maintained his spine angle perfectly. His right arm, again, really well connected with the body. You can see that triangle of daylight through his kind of arms and body. Good indication there. And the face is relatively open at this position. That's quite an old school club face. A more modern club face would be at matching his spine angle. And if we play it down to impact, he's going to release, he's gonna keep rotating really hard and release the hands, roll that club face over a bit to square it up. If we pause it at impact, great position here. There's a lot I really like about this swing. He's rotated really hard. He's still maintained his posture relatively well. His spine angle's a little bit more upright now, indicating he might have uh, extended a little bit, a bit early, um, but very good posture and uh, rotation as well. And for you know, a lot for an older guy here, well, an older PJ Tour player, um, a lot of rotation in this golf swing. Those hips are very, very open, and uh, those arms are very, very connected to the body still. And as we play this through, he rotes, rolls that club over as he keeps turning the upper body, and he has that classic kind of looks almost like a hold off finish position, Charlie Hoffman. So now let's take a look at a three-wood swing. So here we have Charlie Hoffman hitting three-wood. Again, great look down the line. And perfectly set up, it looks very good here. Oh, set up alignment-wise is a lot better than the swing we just took a look at. Um, posture, excellent, alignment, excellent. Everything's really good. As we play the club back, if we pause it parallel to the ground again, and great position here. Club isn't quite as far outside the hands as it was, 
Still slightly outside the hands, but really good position here. Not too much to talk about because it's pretty textbook, actually. I mean, club face slightly open compared to his spine angle, but not really much. And if we play it to the top, the club does come back quite inside quite early, um, and that causes him at the top, he gets kind of, it's, it's a fairly short swing, so it's down the line, but if he kept, if it was a longer swing, it would be more across the line. Um, his right arm gets very, very deep. The lower body is something we can all really learn from here. Charlie's lower body moves very, very well in the takeaway and backswing. I love the leg structure at the top of the backswing. And he, again, has, you know, quite a lot of bend in that right elbow, quite a lot of wrist hinge, the arms kind of in line with the shoulder plane. And if we start to play this swing down, it's going to shallow that golf club actually coming come kind of down a bit steep on the inside actually and then if we pause it parallel to the ground again similarly to the driver swing where the club face quite open and not not so much open but kind of more of an old school open club face where he's going to have to release the hands a bit more great posture though great spine angle if we play it down into the ball turns onto the ball beautifully and if we pause it impact great open hips open shoulders the weight starting to go through his left side. And if we play it through, I love Charlie Hoffman's release because he kind of releases and lets the club roll over a little bit, but it's not a release with the hands. He holds off the kind of hands and arms really nicely. Doesn't let anything flip over or overtake his chest. He keeps everything very nicely in front of his chest, which I love. Now we're gonna have a look at an iron swing quickly where this is a really good look to take a look at Charlie's swing because this is kind of like a hold off shot and it's, it kind of exaggerates a few things to do with Charlie's swing. So here we have him set up. Again, we've talked through his setup, so I won't bore you there. As we play this club back and if we pause it kind of parallel to the ground, club head is outside the hands, face is fairly open. Again, nothing we haven't mentioned already. Let's play it to the top and brings that club back a little bit steeper plane but gets very the hands and arms very low very deep now this is kind of something that's quite interesting because there's there's a few pj tour players who do things quite similarly to this um i'm can't i'm trying to remember the names of them at the moment but there are a few players who do things really similarly to this and what i mean by similarly to this is they keep the arms beneath the shoulder plane especially with some of the shorter clubs and they get the club, the right elbow, more bent and a bit deeper in behind them. This is something I've tried to do in my swing a little bit, but it just didn't work for me. I struggled to get the club back out in front of me, but I will show you now how Charlie manages to do that. But also, if we look at Charlie's body positions here, I really like it. I Lower body, you know, spine, everything was really, really good. Just the arm structure that's maybe, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just a slightly different way of doing things. And if we keep playing the club down, he pretty much comes down on the same plane. If we pause it parallel to the ground, I mean, he's coming down slightly from the outside with a slightly closed club face. It's, this swing to me looks like he's trying to hit a hold off fade. And great posture though, rotating through. And if we play it through to impact, keeps rotating. And here's where it gets really interesting. If we pause it at impact from here, he still has a little bit of bend in the right elbow, but he's starting to straighten that out. Great posture and spine angle though. And as we play this through, you're gonna notice he's gonna fully extend the right arm quite quickly, but he holds open the club face and kind of exits quite low and left. Now let's just play this back a few times and have a look at that. Very, very interesting. So in the takeaway and back swing, he gets that right elbow very bent, kind of low and deep. Then on the way down, he really releases that arm. He extends that arm through the ball. He rotates, then he extends the arm through the ball, but he doesn't let the club face roll over. Now, this is a really good way of hitting stingers, punch shots, hold off fades, shots like that. Really, really good consistent way and great consistent way of improving your ball striking too. Now, we're gonna have a look at Charlie Hoffman from front on with the driver. And this is, again, an important angle to understand in anyone's swing. Here we have Charlie set up with driver. A few things to go through in his setup. Uh, stance is more on the narrower side, not too wide. I mean, not too narrow either, but a little bit on the narrow side compared to what we see, especially with the young modern players. As we take this club back, 
and keeps it really nice big wide takeaway if it pulls it parallel to the ground perfect position there really like to see that if we keep playing this to the top he does hinge those wrists a lot fairly early ish if we pause it at the top charlie has tried to incorporate some more modern aspects into his golf swing his golf swing used to be a little bit shorter a little bit more compact but charlie's trying to especially with the driver he's trying to maximize his distance and i'm going to talk you through a few ways he's trying to do that He's trying to get the swing longer and a bit more wrist tinge, a bit more lag. And how he's trying to do that is quite interesting. He's letting, look at his left knee. He's let that left knee kind of come in a little bit, which is going to help him increase his hip turn and his shoulder turn and in turn get the club a little bit longer. He also has a little bit more uh, wrist hinge at the top and he's obviously keeps a bit more lag on the way down then has to release that. Lag can be good, lag can be bad. Um, I personally prefer less lag in my golf swing. It's harder to catch the club up at the bottom if you have a lot of lag. And if we, but other than that, Charlie Hoffman, I really like where this swing is at. His right, his head is kind of almost over his right foot but he's really turned back into his hips. I love his spine angle here tilted away from the ball. I really like that. As we play this down, we're gonna see shift in weight laterally to his left side. Then he starts to rotate really, really, really hard. Keeps those hands and arms connected. And if we play it through to, well, if you watch, he really has to release the hands and arms really hard late as he comes down to impact. And if we play positive impact, um, great position there. But what I was mentioning a second ago with those hands and arms, him having to release those, that, um, yeah, he has to release, because he's got more lag, he has more to release at the bottom. So those hands have more work to catch up at the bottom of the swing. But really good position here. And if we play it through, releases the club up and extends the arms through and comes onto that nice balance finish on his left side. Uh, let's just play this through a few times for you guys and just notice um, really great huge wide shoulder turns in the backswing and then on the downswing just notice that lag and how he really has to work hard to cap with the hands to kind of catch that up later in the swing but it is a really good look there's a lot of good things to copy there in terms of like charlie hoffman's pivot in his shoulder turn and everything like that in his spine angle as well Re really good things to see there. Now we're going to have a look at a hybrid swing, then an iron swing, and a wedge swing as well, guys. I'm just going to run through these fairly quickly for you guys because we are, we've already kind of taken a look at a lot of Charlie's swing. So as we play this iron swing back, I won't pause it. He, gets, he hinges the wrist quite early in the swing, interestingly, but I won't pause it parallel to the ground. But if we pause it at the top, again, we're going to notice this looks like a fairly short iron, maybe an eight or nine iron. Again, what we were talking about before, those hands and arms are quite low beneath the shoulder plane and that right elbow is very deep and very bent. And uh, yeah, it's just a different way of doing things. And that's going to, if we play this down, he comes down a little bit steeper on the inside, still gets into a good position, but then he extends, he comes down quite on top of the ball, like extends the arms through the ball, keeping that face square and holding that face off in the take, in the after he's hit the ball as well. Um, in the finish position and let's just play through it once or twice and again you can see that a lot of uh, wrist hinge quite early and a bit of lag coming down and then he kind of holds off that face as he swings through um, again looks like it could be a punch shot beautiful views at Torrey Pines as well it has to be said and now let's just have a look at a nice hybrid swing of Charlie's and this is a really good look at his uh, he hits a lot of hybrids and again if we play this back great pivot with the lower body and if we pause it at the top again interestingly enough here gets the, keeps those hands and arms quite low very connected to his body the right elbow again bent and deep and um, if we play this down then he's going to kind of come down fairly steep with a lot of lag um, doesn't kind of come over the top but just steep kind of well kind of on plane really doesn't shallow it too much. And if we pause it at impact, great impact position. I love that impact position so much. Uh, so much rotation and connection with the arms there. And then as he comes through, he extends that right arm hard and kind of holds off that face. Again, this looks like it was a nice high uh, little baby draw perhaps. 
but really good look at Charlie there. And now let's just have a look at a quick uh, pitch shot of Charlie's. Charlie has a great short game, so there's a lot to learn from Charlie's short game as well. And if we have a look at this little pitch, uh, first of all, set up posture and set up really good here. But look at that face of the uh, chip and pitch shot. Um, that face is wide, wide open, exposing that bounce, and the uh, the club is working quite up and down. No real shaft lean. As we play it back, brings that face really nicely on plane, quite open, obviously, um, to expose that bounce and everything. If we pause it at the top here, beautiful position here, keeps the arms and hands connected with the body. He's just kind of pivoted through the spine and lower body. And as he comes down, he comes down on exactly the same plane, down into the ball. Weight on the left side comes through super, super shallow through the golf ball and keeps a nice wide arc even after he's hit the ball um, coming through. Let's just play this through once for you guys. Really good look at a great, if you want to work on any chipping, pitching, especially off tight lies, this is a great way to do it. Big wide arc, no, not much wrist set, and then kind of just maintains those angles as he kind of swings through, comes through super shallow through the ball. Now, let's just have a look at one more of Charlie's swings with a uh, little wedge here, and then we will call it a day, guys, and we'll sum up some of the things we've learned about Charlie Hoffman's golf swing. If we have it pause the impact again, uh, sorry, address, nothing new to mention there, really, at address. If we play it back and pause it parallel to the ground, good position there. Uh, face is actually a little bit squarer here, more in line with his spine angle than it was with some of the other swings. If we play it back, he then hinges the wrist, keeps the arms and hands super low. This was a 120 yard uh, shot. Arms and hands super low, connected to the body, really like that, pivoted well the lower body. As he comes down, keeps that face really square, coming down nice and on top of the ball, but comes through super shallow. And uh, if we pause it, impact, great position there again kind of coming down with a nice square club face, super shallow, and good rotation as we play it through. Again, extends the arms, but holds onto that club face, and look at him just holding that club face open and kind of turning with the chest. Doesn't let the arms overtake the chest. So guys, that is Charlie Hoffman's golf swing. There's a lot, there's, you know, we've had a look at a lot of swings there, and let's just quickly sum it up. A few things to mention, a few things I really like, a few things I might not like so much, I really like the lower body movement. I love the setup as well. Lower body and setup, especially in takeaway and backswing, well, wow, even in downswing of the lower body is really, really good. I, there's a lot to learn there. There's a lot that can be copied, especially with Charlie's posture, excellent posture throughout the swing, basically. A few things that I maybe wouldn't recommend so much is the right arm movement in the golf swing. He gets a lot of hinge quite early and gets that right arm moving uh, kind of in behind him quite deep with a lot of bend in the elbow. I wouldn't recommend that so much purely because from my experience, having actually swung like that, I found it really difficult to do a few things. I found it difficult to get the club back in front of me. I found it difficult to control the low point of the swing because the problem is you have another lever to release. So it was very difficult to control the low point of the swing. It led to me coming down quite steeply onto the ball. And by, when I may say steep there, I don't mean over the top. I just mean steep onto the ball. So I was really kind of coming hard down into the ground. Obviously, Charlie does this a lot better than I was doing this. So I'm not saying it's not, it can't be done well. But for me, that's just personally what I found. It was difficult for me to do. Um, yeah, so there's a few things there, especially with the arm movement. Also, Charlie gets uh, kind of on the way down, he holds on to that lag a lot and comes down on a, doesn't shallow the club out too much. It's kind of a bit weird, actually, because he has a lot of rotation in his golf swing. Um, and typically what we see with guys with a lot of rotation is they shallow the club a lot um, in order to kind of stabilize the club face and they, they shallow it a lot as they come through, then release. Charlie works things a little bit differently as a slightly different release pattern where he, he doesn't have a huge amount of like release in the hand in the hands or rotation in the hands and arms or 
really flipping of the club face. He kind of, he does roll the forearms a little bit, but he's more releasing kind of his right arm through the ball, extending his right arm, then kind of holds on to the club face a little bit, which is one of the reasons he's such a straight hitter, such a consistent ball striker, such a, such a, you know, has had such a long career, because that is a great way of controlling the uh, face angle and, you know, dispersion as well. So guys, let me know, comment down below what you think of Charlie Hoffman's golf swing. I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, yeah, if there's anything I think you think I've missed, I'd love to hear it. Comment down below, reply to all your comments. Like this video as well, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. As always, guys, grip it and rip it.